once reserved for enthusiasts and power users, NVMe SSDs have trickled down market. We haven't seen a flood of low-cost products to take us beyond the limits of SATA, but there are enough available to give us a few choices. The latest low-cost NVMe model comes from Western Digital. The new Black Key SSD represents the fastest consumer product from the company, but this isn't the same Black series we've come to love in hard disk drive flavor. When Western Digital announced the new Black Key Etsy's, the specification sheet spoke volumes about its market placement. The Black is another low-cost NVMe entry designed to motivate mainstream users to upgrade to PCI Express-based storage. Historically, the Black Series has been WD's high-performance product dating back to the Raptor, while Blue and Green represent mid- and low-range products. In WD's color code naming scheme, we would say this is a Blue or even a Green Series product. We asked WD about the color scheme for the Green, Blue, and Black models. We're told the Black Key will be the high-performance product in the WD lineup, and thus it gets the Black designation. We sat down with SanDisk in its Californian office just months after Western Digital acquired the company. In our meeting, we learned SanDisk didn't plan on releasing any more consumer SSDs armed with 2-bit per cell MLC, flash. SanDisk made it clear that 3-bit per cell TLC, is the future for consumers, even if its competitors don't adopt this progressive approach. If you, like me, expected the Black Key to be a fire-breathing, Samsung eating, smoking fast SSD, you will be disappointed. Now that we know what the WD Black Key SSD isn't, let's look at what it actually is. The drive comes to market in two underwhelming capacities of 256GB and 512GB. The drive uses the Marvel 88 SS 1093L Dora controller, which is the same controller featured on the Plexter M8 series. However, the Plexter drive uses 15 nanometers planar MLC, whereas WD chose 15 nanometers TLC NAND. The TLC NAND leaves the 28 nanometers Marvell controller moving data at 2050 megabytes per second sequential read and up to 800 megabytes per second sequential write. By now, most of you know that 15 nanometers planar TLC flash can't sustain 800 megabytes per second write speeds for more than a few seconds because the SLC buffer, which allows the SSD to boost beyond the TLC constraints, fills up and then transfers data at native TLC speeds. With the 512 gigabytes black key, that means roughly 380 megabytes per second of sequential write performance. The Black's random performance isn't much better. WD specs the two Black Key SSDs at 170,000 random read IAPs and up to 134,000 random write IAPs. Western Digital use multi threaded tests with several workers to measure performance specifications, so our real world results are much lower. We did break 10,000 random read IAPs at QD1 and the black marks the first SanDisk consumer drive to reach this milestone. The Extreme Pro came very close, but it couldn't cross the threshold even after a few firmware updates. Pricing and Accessories Western Digital priced the new Black Key SSD appropriately for its performance. The 256GB drive sells for just $109.99, and it climbs to just $199.99 for the 512GB. You will not receive any accessories in the retail package, but a modified version of SanDisk's dashboard called WD Dashboard works with the Black Key. Sadly, you can't use the same software for both Western Digital and SanDisk products. You have to use the company-specific version that matches your drive. Warranty and Endurance The Black Key series ships with a 5-year warranty that is limited by write endurance. You lose warranty coverage after you write just 80 terabytes to the 256 gigabytes drive, and 160 terabytes to the 512 gigabytes model. If the endurance specifications seem low, that's because they are. The Western Digital Green SSD series tops out at 240GB, 256GB NAND provision down to 240GB usable space, and delivers 80TBW. 
That's the same as the Black Key 256 gigabytes. The WD Blue SSD series tops out at 1 terabyte and up to 400 TBW. The smaller 500 gigabytes Blue SSD cuts endurance in half to 200 TBW, but that is still 40 more terabytes of endurance than the new Black Key 512 gigabytes.